Yo, what's up gamers? You know those games that get you hyped even before they drop? Well, lucky for us, we've got Early Access, where you can dive into some seriously epic titles before they're fully cooked. They might still be in the oven, but trust me, they've got enough heat to keep you playing for hours. Ready or Not is a first-person shooter that puts you in the boots of a SWAT operative, throwing you into intense tactical scenarios. You gotta neutralize threats, rescue civilians, and gear up like a pro for each mission. The game is all about realism. Every weapon and piece of equipment feels authentic. There's no single right way to handle a situation. You've got multiple angles to choose from every time. Roll solo and let AI run your squad or squad up with your buddies for some co-op action. Palworld is that Pokemon doppelganger everyone's been talking about since it dropped early in 2024. The early access version is already fire, with tons of stuff to do across the Palpagos Islands. You'll be snagging pals that range from cute and cuddly to straight up beasts like dragons and monsters. Plus, you can roll out with your squad to explore the wild or set up your own base. It's one of those games where you blink and hours are gone, especially since you can tweak the world settings for more XP or mess with the respawn rules. Palworld's got a little something for everyone. Horror games aren't usually the first to pop up in early access, but why not give it a shot? Phasmophobia throws you and up to three buddies into a co-op horror ride where you've got to crack a paranormal mystery. Oh, and did I mention? It's got cross-platform play, and you can even jump in with VR. Each run is supposed to be different, with over 10 types of ghosts that could show up. Plus, it's packed with sick features for, for ghost hunting fans. The ghosts actually listen in on your chats, and you get to mess around with all sorts of ghost hunting gadgets like night vision and EMF readers. Craftopia is an open-world survival indie game that you can play in English, Japanese, and both simplified and traditional Chinese. It got some heat in the reviews thanks to a bit of confusion. Players thought the devs were dropping the game for good, uh, but turns out they're just working on another title with a totally separate team. The gameplay is a mashup of everything you love from cozy games like Stardew Valley or Minecraft. You'll be hunting, farming, and casting spells and exploring like crazy. Some players have pointed out that it's a bit clunky and buggy at times, but hey, it's early access. Most still say the time they've put into it has been worth every penny. In this sandbox sim, you gotta raise your own custom species on an alien planet, but it's not gonna be easy. The planet's crawling with competing species, so you'll need to fight for your niche and survive. If Thrive gives you Spore vibes, you're not wrong, except this one's way more in-depth when it comes to evolving at the cellular level. From the reviews, it's clear that anyone with a love for biology is really digging this game. The devs definitely know their stuff when it comes to the science side of things. It's exactly what it sounds like. You might be the king of the castle here, but there's no room for peaceful talks. In diplomacy is not an option, you'll spend all your time smashing waves of enemies coming at you. It mashes up elements from a ton of genres, like sim, tower defense, and action games. There's a lot to manage, so while it's easy to pick up, it's got a high skill ceiling. The perfect combo. Together is a hidden gem still in early access. This survival game throws you into a world of islands packed with tricky puzzles. The devs call it a science fantasy setup, where you roll out with your golem sidekick, basically a mini robot pal, and bump into all sorts of mystical and epic stuff along the way. As the player, you're all about snagging blueprints to craft gear, scavenging rare materials to level up, and pimping out your golem buddy. Right now, Together is strictly single player, but co-op mode is dropping soon, which means the game's about to get a whole lot more hype with some squad action. If there's one game on this list that's already on your radar, it's probably Valheim. This title skyrocketed to become one of Steam's top sellers recently. You step into the boots of a Viking in a procedurally generated open world. The game's got it all, from hunting and building your base to the ultimate goal, taking down five bosses inspired by Norse mythology. But don't worry, survival in Valheim isn't as brutal as in other games. Looking at you, Rust or Ark, survival evolved. Resource gathering and other survival mechanics won't overwhelm you. Instead, the real magic lies in the mystery and discovery, with every player's journey feeling totally unique each time they play. Timberborn is a city builder game where, yep, you're running a town full of beavers. Sounds wild? After humanity bites the dust, beavers take over as the top species on Earth, 
and it's up to you to build their society and make it thrive. Since you're controlling beavers, the city building gameplay is all about things that other city builders skip over, like managing rivers and making timber your main resource. There's a ton of detail in the beaver life cycle, so you won't get bored. You've got to keep them healthy, plan for the changing seasons, and manage work both day and night. And when you've mastered running your cities and need a new challenge, there's a map editor. You can create your own custom landscapes, share them online, and play on maps made by others too. If you're like the rest of us and obsessed with medieval castles, then Be Castled is the game you need to check out. Build and defend your own epic fantasy castle from scratch. Start with your base, then expand the village around it with the help of your crew. Get ready to defend the Kingdom of the Sun against the fierce Moon Warriors. You'll have to train up your army and survive brutal enemy sieges. Heads up though, reviews say the game can sometimes hog your CPU and there are a few bugs, especially during those intense night phases. But despite that, players still dig the game. Asuka drops you into a brutal wilderness inspired by Norse mythology. To survive, you gotta earn the god's favor, level up your skills, and start building your own crib, eventually turning it into a village full of NPCs doing their thing. But it's not all chill. You'll be carving out your path while dealing with threats like Draugr, Wisps, and a bunch of other monsters. You'll be grinding for resources and shaping the land to fit your style. If you're ready to put in the work, uh, the game will hook you up with a legit community that's all your own creation. Project Zomboid is a killer indie survival horror game. It's all about surviving in a zombie-infested sandbox where you test just how long you can stay alive. You can roll solo or jump into multiplayer action, including online mode and local split-screen co-op for up to four players. The devs are super dedicated, dropping weekly updates every Thursday, lovingly named Thursdoids. They keep adding new features to keep the hype alive and the fans stoked. So why not hop in and join the community? If you're the type who's always been an adventurer at heart, Core Keeper is your jam. You start the game waking up deep underground, surrounded by some seriously ancient vibes. But don't get too distracted. Survival is key. You'll be digging through caves, collecting relics, and mining out fresh paths. To keep yourself in the game, you'll need to build a solid base. As you go deeper, the mystery of what's really going on starts to unfold. Core Keeper comes from Pugstorm, the same crew behind the super cute Radical Rabbit Stew. The game's published by Fireshine, who also brought us hits like Descenders, Overcooked 2, Lies of P, and Dredge. Sunken Land is a sick, open-world survival craft game where you literally gotta keep your head above water. Earth's mostly underwater, and you're stuck living on a floating raft to survive. The cool part? You can set up your base anywhere you want. The game's got a modular building system, so you can build your dream home, whether it's decked out in style or just super practical. But don't get too comfortable. Even though everything's underwater, danger's always lurking. Mutants, sharks, and pirates can attack out of nowhere. So survival's not just about the basics. You gotta defend yourself too. As you explore more, you'll score better gear and get more time to focus on whatever you really want to do. Little Witch in the Woods is the ultimate cozy, laid-back adventure RPG that'll hook gamers from all backgrounds. You step into the shoes of Ellie, an apprentice witch, grinding through her apprenticeship while flexing all the dope skills she picked up at witch school. Your daily grind is totally up to you. Feeling chill or adventurous? It's all good. Ellie can kick back and chat with the locals to make some new homies, bond with the neighborhood cats, drop a line and fish by the calm waters, or even head out and hunt for potion ingredients. There's always something to vibe with. Satisfactory is an open world base building game created by Coffee Stain Studios. Uh, the name is a clever play on factory because in this game, you'll be spending all your time taming the wilds and setting up massive factories to take full advantage of an alien planet's endless resources. You'll have epic conveyor belt systems moving items across your base, and trust me, it's insanely satisfying, pun totally intended, to watch all your hard work pay off. Plus, there's a co-op mode, so you can team up with your buddies to build the ultimate factory, or go head to head to see who's the true factory master. You've probably heard of a Dyson Sphere, the ultimate sci-fi power move. The idea? 
wrap a massive sphere around a star, collect infinite solar energy, and create a new home for humanity. Now, in this early access gem, you get to build your very own Dyson Sphere from scratch. Every universe you drop into is procedurally generated, meaning no two players will have the same setup. Your mission? Use the resources you can get your hands on to construct the ultimate Dyson Sphere and tap into enough energy to fuel next-gen AI tech. With planets to explore, spheres to trick out, and an empire to run, this brand new title's got all the space-building vibes you could ask for. The original Slime Rancher dropped in early access, and guess what? The sequel's rolling the same way. On their Steam page, they straight up admit the game wouldn't have been the hit it is without the fans' support and feedback. It's expected to hang out in early access for at least 18 months. Whether you've dived into the original Slime Rancher or not, you're gonna fall in love with this bright, feel-good game. It's packed with all kinds of wonder, and the glowing reviews back that up, uh, especially with how smooth and optimized it is compared to the OG. Have you ever heard two more epic words in your life than Crab Champions? This gem was crafted by the same developers behind Crab Rave. It's a third-person roguelike shooter where you take down enemies and survive for as long as you can. You can go solo or squad up with up to three more players. This game is clearly made with love, uh, featuring a ton of unique maps to explore and a killer soundtrack that cranks up the intensity of your battles. Plus, in a, a gaming landscape where most titles are just out to drain your wallet, you'll be stoked to know there are no microtransactions or loot boxes trying to reel you in. Just pure, unadulterated fun. The Wandering Village is a city-building simulator and resource management game with a twist. Your entire civilization of nomads hangs out on the back of a moving, living, breathing creature called the Anbu. You'll need to adapt fast. Like many games in this genre, there are tons of different ways to play, but ultimately you'll have to balance the needs of your people, the needs of the Anbu, and the demands of the constantly shifting environment as the Anbu roams. All right, that's the rundown. Get in on these early access gems while they're still raw. You'll be ahead of the game finding all the hidden secrets before anyone else. So gear up and get ready to grind. These titles are waiting for you to make your mark.